Shaka. God, thank you for your spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, the Father of glory. And we have access through your beloved Son, Jesus. We have access to the Father of glory. Thank you, God, for the kingdom of heaven, for translating us into the kingdom of light, translating us into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. You translated us through your Son, and we get to sit with you. We sit with you in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We sit with God, in God, and God sits in us. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you for another day, God, and the glory on the earth, <laughs> on this little blue ball spinning through outer space at hundreds of thousands of miles per hour. We get to rest and relax in the manifest presence of God. <laughs> Uh, I was going to read Ephesians. I got my letters from heaven. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Let's talk about a few things first. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Shaka. You know that uh, a lot of times you think that uh, you might feel depressed or oppressed or you literally feel depressed. Well, that's because you're discerning a spirit called depression trying to attach itself to your, through your soul into you. And uh, you don't have to actually receive that. I got hit with it a little bit uh, on the weekend. And I started, it was weird because there's like little measures of truth, but hidden inside those measures, like those those thoughts is darkness. Because it's, it's, it's what the enemy uses against your mind. He'll throw something at you that is sort of like truth, Something that happened, but there's darkness attached to it. Kind of like the way he tempted Jesus in the desert, you know? If you're the son of God, you know, turn this bread and uh, turn this stone into bread. You know, it's true. Like Jesus does turn, uh, he can turn stones into bread. Like stones are revelation. He's the bread of life. We feed on revelation, but there was darkness attached to it. It was the enemy saying, hey, do it my way. Yeah, you got to do it God's way. And uh, you obey the Father. You only do what the Father says. And so, you know, Jesus beat him in the, in the wilderness. Jesus trashed the demon. Like, he thrashed the devil in the wilderness. And he came out of the wilderness full of power. The Holy Spirit power. There's a couple things uh, I learned from that just recently. It's actually, uh, you know, all things are yours. You know, all things are yours, but also with all things comes, like all those tests are yours. <laughs> Abraham was tested, you know, and he gave his son to God, no matter what. He was, he had faith that God would even raise him from the dead. Jesus was tested and tempted in the wilderness. And he came out full of the spirit and power. So you know, yeah, all things are yours in Christ, but uh, you got to get through, go through some tests <laughs> before you can walk in those things. You know, God's not going to give the, a Lamborghini uh, car keys to like someone who can't even reach the pedals yet. You know, you got to grow a little bit and, uh, you know, salvation's yours. The peace of God is yours. All these things are yours, but, <laughs> you know, the Lamborghini keys, you got to go through some tests. Hallelujah, Shaka. Whatever. Anyways, um, that's some of the stuff that I'm going, I don't like tests, man. Like, God, please, no more tests. Like, just give me the keys, you know? <laughs> you have the keys of the kingdom. They're all in Christ. You know, if you can see it in the heaven, you can manifest it on the earth. Yeah, you have the keys of the kingdom. And uh, there's many different keys, though. There's keys to open the he uh, heavens and realms of worship. There's keys to open the heavens through revelation, speaking mysteries. You know, there's keys to, you know, walking in divine healing and, you know, laying hands on the sick and they, they recover. Those, those are revelation keys. Those, those are all the keys of the kingdom and they're yours if you can see them in heaven. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, Jesus had to conquer uh, all those things 
uh, so that we can be overcomers in Him. <laughs> we are, we're overcomers when we're in Christ. You know, because He already overcame, so that we just step in the overcomer and we walk it out on the earth in His victory. It's great. You know, all the battle is the Lord's. He already fought it all for us. We just got, our battle is to remain in the Lord. <laughs> to remain in the manifest, tangible glory and presence of God. And uh, not give our ears over to these seducing spirits trying to get us, you know, to do anything apart from the voice of God. We only do things according to the voice of God to bring that reality into this earth. Hallelujah. So God circumcise our hearts, minds, body, flesh, soul, spirit, whatever, everything, cut off everything that's not of you, and everything that is of you, just build and plant, water it with the river of life, in Jesus' name, and shaka, 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 just flood us all, God, with revelation of the Father of glory, yeah, flood your church with the glory, God, <laughs> you know what? Noah, Noah had blue, got his blueprints from the Father. He got his blueprints from God. Moses got his blueprints from God to build. You know, <laughs> Jesus got his blueprints from the Father to build up the church, the spiritual, his spiritual church. And uh, today, I don't know why we do this, but people go, they get their blueprints from a pastor. <laughs> That's what the foolish virgins are recorded for. You don't get your blueprints from a pastor, you get your blueprints from God. And the pastor confirms what God is saying. Yeah, you go to God. It's the, it's always been that way. You know, we, all they shall all be taught of the Lord. You know, God, the Holy Spirit, you have no need that any man teaches you. The Holy Spirit is the one who teaches you. He's your teacher and he can use the pastor, obviously, yeah, but some of us are so naturally minded that we depend on the natural for our, our mind. <laughs> when we have the mind of Christ, we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Not just the pastor, but the pastor and the congregation and uh, the, the cloud of witnesses in heaven. We all have the mind of Christ. We're one body, yo. So you don't have to depend on just what you see. It's the things which you don't see, but that you actually see by faith. It's the substance of those things that gives you faith. You know, it's the substance of the glory, substance of Christ coming through your pastor, the substance of Christ coming through uh, the Bible even. Just, you know, the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life to those dead letters, you know? The only way for the Bible to come alive is for Christ to come through it and just absolutely change your nature and back into His nature. The letter does kill. Did I press record? <laughs> Let's start that over again. <laughs>